with my friend Colton here, and we are doing another rendition of Roadkill Eulogies. So, as you know, if you've seen this earlier in one of our earlier vlogs, you know what we do. We find, we drive around randomly and find dead things that have been hit by cars, bikes, hover rounds, um, any vehicle known to man, I guess. And we pull over, and he says some nice words, but dead things need uh, kind words as well, even if they were taken out by a car. Then I accompany him with my violin, play a little piece, and uh, then we move on to the next. So this by far, I think, has been talked about as one of the most peculiar skits that we do. Very uh, original. Some would say morbid, I've heard that before. No animals have been harmed in the videoing of this project, just so you know. That's because they're already dead. So we just observe, say kind things, and hopefully they, they make it to where they need to go in uh, animal heaven. I agree. Uh, yeah, I don't really care for driving around and you know, roasting small animals. <laughs> well, of course, what he means, let's clarify, is that we do not take them home and put them in the crock pot to roast. No. We don't. As we, When we tend to find them, they're a little um, uh, dried out, um, like a little uh, greeny with pavement and sand, more than I would like. Um, I feel like you're just making it worse. <laughs> I'm just saying, roadkill is not when we find my them, first pick. They're a little pick. too salty for me. <laughs> That's, you know, but I totally love doing the silver. And not the so, <laughs> Whoa! What? You see something? I think that was a deer. A live one? No. Dead one? I would assume dead. Really? It's laying down. It could be sleeping. All of the animals in these videos. Yes. Are just yeah. Okay. Yes. All we the say animals. They're dead for views. We say <laughs> the little Cynthia's and baby Johnny's that are watching our vlogs. They're just sleeping. They're okay. Cynthia. Oh. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, 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 don't go. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, think of the views, though. I mean, <laughs> think of the views. We died. <laughs> First one. Oh, it looks so soft and fluffy. All right, kind sir. Anything nice to say to this rather beef jerky raccoon? Uh, you poor little bandit. You, you tried to steal a Cheeto and you got hit by a car. Rest in peace. <laughs> Is that a deer? It might be. Oh, good eye. Thank God. <laughs> Hopefully, so we don't have to drive as far that way. You're off the hook then, unless we decide to include that one as our third one. And then we don't have to go across if that's town. Different. Holy crap, we're just driving around. You are a madman tonight. Holy shit. Is it a deer? Oh, you just got pranked. Oh, it's mud. Oh, oh. This fool Colton got my hopes up. So as we're driving from animal to animal, we're gonna use a violin kind of as like a snare drum would be used for like when you tell cringy jokes or little, you know, dry jokes or something. It's like, you know, after each little Pun. One of the thoughts I was wondering is if you come across a dead deer, for example, and it has um, 
post-mortem farting. Like, it's passing gas as it's dead. And it's a deep, a low, um, I would say, like, a, a D-flat, a, uh, I guess, a roadkill duet together. If we come across a dead pig, I guess you could say that pork got chopped. Oh! If we drive across a bridge and we see that there's a dead catfish on the road, I guess one could kind of wonder, why catfish, why did you catapult yourself out of the water? Oh, God. If you come by a dead frog, I suppose you could say that it croaked. Oh. Kermit the frog left her for Freddy the leopard frog. we come across a bunch of, like, a flock of chickens, and they were roosters, could one say that those cocks got hard? I think um, number uh, no. two is right here, yes. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay, so. <laughs> Get it? I've done that time. <laughs> what are these town folks Why doing? are they back here? What are they doing? Nothing to see here, sir. Um, you are very fluffy and will be missed. Rest in peace, little guy. better I'm sure in its day hopefully wherever you're at now you're smelling ten times like flowers ivory and lavender so done. all part of nature this is a per important lesson kids life is all fun and games sometimes and then you die. It's a horrible lesson. <laughs> Kids teepeeing trees and stuff. Such a waste of toilet tissue. You know, toilet tissue in the tree. Much better use of toilet tissue than that. Like wiping your bottoms. Yeah. I thought you were going to say recycled toilet paper. I'm like, how? I don't know if you'd want to do that. That's kind of grody, man. You really hope that the person before doesn't have a disease. <laughs> You're like, eh. Sometimes you just need... To... You go with the flow. <laughs> I literally... Oh, oh! That one's a good... That one deserves a know. plucking. Oh. <laughs> I think we saw something up here. Yes. Yes, right here. Yeah. <gasps> oh no, oh. I got punked! Oh! oh that. <laughs> you stupid piece of crap! Stupid thing! Damn you! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Never again! I'm doing my civil duty and moving trash from the road. That got me. Because it did, it looked like another raccoon. Just a darker shade. Like, I guess 50 shades of raccoon, I don't know. Damn. Maybe it would be an angry deer. Mm, an angry deer. That's Roger from American Dad. Maybe they felt a little dead inside. Like you. Oh. 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 Oh my. Oh. oh my. Uh, oh. Oh my. Please 
please help. <laughs> we come across a dead cow. Suppose he wasn't in the mood to be alive. Oh. Colonel Sanders was driving and hit some chickens. Is that how the extra crispy chicken option is created? Oh. If we came by a tree, would we both be dead when we hit it? My, my, my. Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> We just spotted our next next one here. We're gonna turn around. Oh dear! <laughs> because we got distracted by the deer, I'm going to give you a plucking for that last one. Thank you. It did it move angles? It might have changed positions. I, so. I drove by here the other day. It might have moved. Unless we're dealing with a zombie deer, there is such a thing actually, but it's not I literal like mean. that. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a disease or something. I guess the side of that truck coming was hardly jaw-dropping. Rest in peace, fluffy buns. Rest in peace, my friend, and hopefully you'll go off to a better place. Oh dear, I need to get home. It's getting past my bedtime. <laughs> oh god. Going that, to hell. Yeah. I started to walk away. <laughs> no, that's deers. Those other, they're living ones. Maybe they're coming out because they heard me play the violin. Hey, <laughs> serenade us. We're alive. Oops, sorry. Oh dear. There's an animal. Oh my, Colton, oh my. You couldn't hold us until we got home? No. Hopefully they appreciated my little performance and uh, they'll be happy wherever they went off to. Oh, <laughs> oh bye. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. Oh my. <laughs> I hope that these, my audience of, uh, various dead critters. Hopefully they appreciated the performance and your kind words. I'm sure they would applaud if they didn't have hooves. I guess they were dying to see you play. <laughs> oh, dark humor. Oh my. <laughs> I did a Roger in a torch. <laughs> and oh. Oh, you purposefully pumped. Oh, yep. People are gonna think we're devil worshippers. Nice truck. Be a shame if I ran into it. Why did the deer cross the road? To get hit by a car. <laughs> oh, that was a bite. Yeah, never mind. Oh, and we have explosions outside. <laughs> Do you like blue lights, Colton? I love blue lights. Yeah. What if they're flashing behind you from the popo? <laughs> it's happened before, not a great point. <laughs> Joined with our guest, Jesse. We're gonna go to High Trestle Bridge again. Place that we were at back when it was like 22 degrees out, the wind chill making it seem like it was in the teens. And uh, he was, you were sick last time. Oh, you yeah. did? Yeah. He's a trooper though and he made it through it. But yeah, we went there and we were too late and it was dark so he didn't get to see the blue lights. We're timing it out perfectly. It's gonna be summertime so there's gonna be more bugs and stuff and heat. It's <laughs> yeah. baby powder season. Miserable <laughs> baby powder season, yeah, exactly. And we're about to go 13 stories up. There's the bridge, Jesse. We're gonna be up there, what do you think? Two or three to heights, so uh, yeah. should be able to should have an issue. <laughs> cool. He was a little under the bridge, if you know what I mean. Not feeling too well. Under the bridge. Yeah, I was a uh, troll. Is that what you're <laughs> trying to say? 
Sure. Well, they I always love their hair anyway. It's always love their hair. He, he's doing exactly what I do. I carry a comb in my vehicle. Oh, I carry my pocket. I, I, <laughs> he would. It's awesome. Like literally everywhere, even at work. Oh, getting your emo hair down. Look at that. It's his herbal essence moment. <laughs> so, the High Trestle Trail runs for 25 miles through five towns four counties. The trail includes an iconic half mile, 13 story high bridge across the Des Moines River Valley. Ew people. I know, ew people. No eye contact. <laughs> or do you gotta poop too? Or pee? <laughs> I advise, I advise using a mask. I advise <laughs> using a mask. We have those. <laughs> trying to tell me something. <laughs> trying to save you from suffocating in poop particles. Suffocating in defecations. <laughs> yeah, defecations, yeah. No one wants to die in a porta potty. It's embarrassing. I wonder, I'm statistically tempted to search it. How many deaths statistically happen in a porta potty? Each year. <laughs> These are the important questions. He has the other camera. I hope will probably record here in a second. Um, so yeah, you never been on a bridge like this that has lights that kind of spiral? No, not, not with lights. <laughs> yeah. so I've been to like one of like the big uh, viaduct or viaduct, or whatever they call them, big, big train trestle bridges. Oh yeah, I yeah. We have one like it's like 20 minutes from our house. Oh, okay. It's probably about the same. It might be the same height, or maybe I don't know exactly. Summertime sucks. It does. It's hard to dress in our usual and pull it off with elegance. Well, I don't always. I still try. You just do it. Well, sometimes I do. Yeah. Hey, those red berries there. I don't know if we should try them. Do you want to die tonight? I mean, yeah, but preferably like somewhere more comfortable. Okay. <laughs> This guy. Yeah, it's definitely not my way to go out. <laughs> no, I don't. It's not ideal. Either. Yeah, those berries. Yeah. What do you see? Ah, I see some leaves. Yeah. Nice. Mm, it's kind of blurry. Yeah. Yeah. It needs focused. I can kind of see through there. That's kind of cool. I know a lot of people come up here and make out on these ledges and yeah. like these outer little areas. Shiny. Yeah. Do you like blue? It's a nice color. It's yeah, it's decent. <laughs> he knows me and my sound effects. Like, pew, pew, pew. <laughs> well, that's pretty much, I mean, that's this, and then it goes on to Woodward if we continue walking, but. I want air conditioning. Yeah. You're like me. We become moody bitches when we get to, too hot. That's a fair assessment. We're going to stop, check on a dog. He's dog sitting, I guess, first. Pretty, pretty good first day in Iowa. Yeah. Second day. I mean. Yeah. Yep, kept you busy. Explored all day with this one. All right, so we're here and Colton's babysitting a dog. Dog sitting. Oh, oh, and uh, this one is a little piddle pup. <laughs> and it, it peed right, right there. His fluffy tail all over it, smearing it all over the floor. <laughs> and Colton has to clean it up now. <laughs> Mmm, this moth's gonna smell like piss. Mmm, <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. Nice and neat. Rub that floor good. Ugh. Sometimes. Real good. She's gonna be like, why did you invite strangers to my house to film my dog being? Because <laughs> <laughs> we're peculiar, that's all you gotta say. Uh, <laughs> Don't worry about it. I know. Oh my. 
I would prefer to go in the winter where there's less people. Same and here. Probably where, you know, with the lights actually on, and like how we did last time. But yeah. Also, just being like deathly ill and then having to drive all the way out there. And then, yeah. Yeah. So two things you probably change. Having lights actually be on. And mosquitoes are. Okay. And not being sick. Mosquitoes yeah. Mosquitoes are, yeah. Especially when they bite you and you're like unmentionables. I know, okay. <laughs> I was saying, I mean, the only experience I've had is that it's a tick. Oh, oh man. man. That's oh, a fun oh, time. Oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> and more blood goes in there? Does it cause a tick to explode? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Is the blood flow to the tick increase because the blood flow to its surface area is increasing? Or do you just constantly have a bunker because mm-hmm. the ticks just suck in your dick? That's just when you're. I've never got turned on by an arachnid. It's a win win situation. You're getting hard and the tick's getting full. <laughs>